Okay, uh, so coronaviruses are a very diverse group, very large group of the viruses that cause respiratory, gastrointestinal, and central nervous system disease in animals and humans. Okay, um, and then actually first coronavirus was identified in 1937 in chicken yeah, by Shock and Horn, which is named as infectious bronchitis virus, which is actually responsible for bronchitis in birds in Dakota, USA. So even in our country, we have this, and then we always have problem with this uh, viruses, uh, infection bronchitis virus, uh, especially the one that our local strain for our local strain because our local strain cannot be protected using imported vaccine. So meaning that we need to uh, uh, to produce our own vaccine using local strain for for our uh, infectious bronchitis virus. Okay, which is actually we we still don't have that until now. Okay, human coronaviruses. Uh, actually first uh, found in 1960s from the nose of people with a common cold in USA and UK. So only with a common cold beside influenza virus. So this uh, human human coronaviruses are, are, are also uh, cause common cold in human. Eh? Okay, corona, corona in Latin words meaning that crown. Crown because uh, due to the crown-like appearance on the spike uh, glycoprotein of the coronavirus. So you can see here the, 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 the crown-like uh, uh, appearance of the coronavirus because of the, pre the presence of the spike here, okay? Okay, uh, so coronavirus belongs to coronaviridae family. It's contained the envelope and then contains the positive sense single-stranded RNA. So this virus uh, is RNA virus, eh? okay? And then the morphology uh, of this virus is uh, spherical and sometimes uh, plumophic in shape with average with a diameter of 80 to 120 nanometer, okay? And then the genome size is about 26 to 32 kilobases, which is actually the largest of the RNA viruses. Okay, and then the, the transmission of the infection of coronavirus infection normally through aerosol uh, for mix of fecal oral routes. Okay, I don't know how to, because uh, uh, seem like this one blocked my okay okay uh okay uh the structure eh the cartoon structure of the virus this 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 is the cartoon structure of the virus the virus uh, contain the membrane protein nucleocapsid protein uh, envelope protein and spike protein so spike protein is the one that contains spike one and spike two in where spike one is the uh, contain the receptor binding on the surface of spike protein, eh? receptor binding domain here, uh, which actually attach to host cell receptor and determine the host range and cellular trope tropism. Eh? So I, I'm, uh, I'm hope that um, my, my uh, talk is not too technical, especially for those from the sports science students, eh? okay? Uh, okay, uh, okay uh, the, and then the virus contain uh, 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 membrane protein, nucleocapsid protein, and the envelope protein here. Okay, for the, the one that determine the host range and cellular tropism uh, of the infection, eh, uh, whether that virus can, can, uh, can uh, attach to certain cellular receptor, is uh, the uh, uh, is because the presence of a uh, receptor binding domain on the spike one protein. Eh? So this spike one protein also responsible in virus virulence, and then also responsible in the production of neutralizing and protection antibodies in the host. So the host will, for example, in the case of COVID nineteen, eh? so the the human host will recognize this spike protein. 
and then they will produce the antibodies against this spike protein. Okay. Okay, and then uh, S2, uh, spike 2, protein responsible in the membrane fusion. So when the, the, the virus attached to the uh, host cell receptor, the, the uh, S2, the one that will fuse the membrane of the host cell so that the virus can enter the, the host cell. Okay, uh, human receptor for uh, SARS coronavirus, MERS-CoV, Two and SARS coronavirus two is sorry eh sorry uh, a mistake here. Uh, uh, not mus mus two mus cough eh and SARS coronavirus two is actually uh, for the SARS coronavirus SARS coronavirus two is the uh, receptor uh, is two receptor eh, human receptor eh. So the, these uh, two viruses will recognize this uh, human receptor is two eh for their binding to the host cell. And then whereas for the um, MERS-CoV, eh, they will recognize this human receptor, DPP4, on the, host, uh, on the human host uh, cell, eh, uh, human dipeptidyl peptidase 4. Okay, so meaning that here SARS coronavirus 2, SARS coronavirus 1, uh, one actually use the same a receptor binding on the human host cell, which is actually ACE2. Eh? Okay, genome organization. Eh? So this virus have this replicase 1A, replicase 1B, which contain uh, uh, about 16 non-structural protein on this uh, region, and then they are uh, followed by spike protein. Uh, mem uh, envelope protein, membrane protein, and nucleocapsid protein. And then some of the this beta coronavirus, murine, hepatitis B, they have extra proteins here. Uh, HE, eh? HE protein, which is hemagglutinin, uh, esterase protein. Eh? Okay, the survivability of the virus, eh? the virus table, uh, uh, in stool and urine for at least two days, and then room temperature at least one day. For example, uh, for SARS coronavirus 2, they remain viable for up to 72 hours on plastic and stainless steel, and up to four hours on copper, and up to 24 hours on carbon. So, so you all uh, know that this SARS coronavirus 2 actually the one, the culprit that caused the COVID-19 infection. Eh? Okay, and then, but luckily, this virus uh, not survive in normal disinfectant. For example, 60 to 95 percent alcohol. So, and then uh, Clorox, eh? and then also temperature at 56 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Okay. okay, the classification of the coronavirus, uh, uh, it is uh, classified into four groups. Eh? Alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So most of the mammals coronaviruses belongs to this alpha and beta. So you can see here uh, there, there are actually some bad viruses here, and then this is uh, some uh, uh, pig viruses, and then this uh, FIPV is actually a virus coronavirus in cats. Eh? So normally this FIP, eh, when uh, this virus attack the cats, eh, it will cause almost 100% death in cat. Okay? Okay, and then uh, same thing with uh, beta coronavirus here. Also contain uh, uh, bats. Okay. Bat uh, coronaviruses. Okay, and then uh, this uh, murine hepatitis. This uh, virus, bovine coronavirus, and then also contain. You can see in here that most of the zoonotic coronaviruses belongs to this group, beta coronavirus. Okay, for example, uh, SARS coronavirus, uh, SARS coronavirus two, and MERS-CoV all belongs to beta coronaviruses. Eh? And then for the uh, Gamma contain the fish, this one, whales, coronavirus, and infection bronchitis virus you have, uh, in the uh, chicken. And then this one, uh, uh, this uh, uh, under uh, Delta, Delta coronavirus belongs to the mammals and avian. This one actually uh, pig coronavirus. Eh? 
okay, human coronaviruses. Eh? There are actually uh, four human coronaviruses reported so far. Eh? So which is actually four cause common disease and then three novel, di a novel disease, eh? three novel coronaviruses. The one that common one is human cor coronavirus 229E and L63, which belongs to alpha coronavirus. And then HKU1 OC43 belongs to beta coronavirus. And then all these four uh, common coronaviruses in human cause common cold in human, eh? beside the influenza virus and other, other virus. Right, and then three uh, coronaviruses are uh, novel, eh? novel, which actually cause the severe respiratory disease in human. So uh, the three are uh, Moscow SARS coronavirus, uh, COV, SARS uh, COV, and then uh, SARS COV two. Eh? Okay, uh, for the novel zoonotic coronaviruses. Uh, human coronaviruses eh, periodic, uh, period, periodically emerge across the world to produce novel zoonotic viruses that become a threat to human health and produce severe symptoms in human, such as just now, lah, SARS coronavirus, which is severe acute, acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, uh, Middle East respiratory syndrome coronavirus, MERS-CoV, and then uh, SARS coronavirus 2. Eh? Uh, for the SARS coronavirus identified in 2003, and then for uh, MERS-CoV in 2001, 2012, and then for uh, SARS corona, coronavirus 2 in 2019 until now. So the virus that caused pandemic now, eh? the COVID-19 infection. So all are belongs to the beta coronavirus. Why this virus are novel? Because uh, there are no cross reaction antibodies present in the human host. And then uh, this virus, this novel uh, viruses can escape current vaccine protections and also escape diagnostic detection and antiviral treatment, the current antiviral treatment. So meaning that we don't have uh, vaccine and antiviral to treat these uh, viruses. Eh? Okay, uh, and then zoonotic disease, uh, zoonotic disease is uh, diseases in humans that originated from animals. Okay, almost 60%, uh, uh, more than 60% of the diseases, uh, infectious diseases eh, are uh, from the zoonotic origin. Okay, virus evolution. Okay, when, when a virus makes copies of itself in the host, it sometimes change its nucleotide or amino acid. This one we call it as a mutation. And then from this mutation, they will produce several new mutants and referred as a variant virus. Okay, this process of changing and selection of success full variants is called virus evolution. Okay, the, the more transmission, the more the, the virus transmitted, eh, the more variants can be produced. Okay, and then the variant viruses have better adaptation to the environment compared to the original virus. So as we know now, we have all this, this, this type of uh, variant of concern. Eh? Alpha, beta, delta, gamma, eh? especially the delta la, variant of concern because the, uh, their change, their transmission become more infectious and then uh, the virulence too. Okay. So some, uh, some mutation can lead to the change in virus characteristic, okay, such as uh, altered uh, transmissions with uh, make the virus get, uh, spread easily or change the severity of the virus. Okay, uh, and then uh, also they can do the interspecies transmission, meaning that uh, 
that, for example, in the case of zoonotic viruses, eh, they can change from uh, uh, their, their, their transmission from, from uh, animals to human. Okay, and then they can escape diagnostic detection, treatment and vaccine uh, response. Eh? Okay, uh, uh, as we know, this coronavirus is RNA virus. Eh? So normally, the, actually, the mutation in RNA viruses uh, it, uh, are more active than DNA uh, viruses. Why this thing happen? Because RNA viruses, they don't have proofreading enzyme uh, for their replications. Uh, that, uh, the, 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 the enzyme that they use is uh, RDRP, RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, which is actually uh, this enzyme, eh, they cannot uh, correct the error mix during the replication process. Whereas for the DNA viruses or DNA uh, agents, eh, they have uh, they use uh, DNA-dependent DNA polymerase, which actually can can uh, correct the error during the rep replications. So uh, that's why the, the mutation in the RNA viruses keep on uh, accumulates and then they will produce many variants like a much of dengue, HIV, and so many variants. Will many variants to some of the uh, variants to that they will escape uh, the, the, the current uh, uh, vaccine response so that uh, uh, the, the current vaccine cannot be effective anymore, so we need to produce a new vaccine to, to protect this new variant. So we hope that in the future for the COVID-19 uh, virus, uh, COVID-19, eh, we, we, we don't have, we, we, we don't have the vir variants, my viruses that cannot be protected with our current vaccine. Lah. Kalau ada, we have to produce new vaccine, lah, which actually takes long time to produce a new vaccine. Okay. okay, how does the zoonotic coronavirus emerge? So uh, there are two ways for the coronavirus uh, to, to evolve themselves, to mutate themselves. One is through the mutation. Mutation is either gene deletion, gene insertion, or substitution of the nucleotides targeting spike protein for receptor recognition and membrane fusion. Okay, especially they target the spike protein. Okay, so this spike protein, the NBD eh, on the spike protein is critical in de uh, determining the host range and tissue tropism of coronaviruses. So, so meaning that if uh, a, a certain mutation on this NBD, eh, sorry, not NBD, RBD. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, on the RBD, eh, uh, 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 will if the, the the mutation critical on this RBD, so they will they can change the host range. Eh? So, for example, in the case of coronavirus, eh, the, uh, uh, mutation one mutation in uh, one thousand nucleotide, and then uh, SARS coronavirus genome example, they have the uh, uh, thirty thousand nucle uh, nucleotides in their genome. So one virus will produce 30 nucleotide mutation in one replication cycle. And from one replication cycle, it meaning that one virus become two. Okay, and then one cycle for SARS coronavirus two, we uh, normally uh, uh, take about three days. So one virus will produce 10 mutation in every three days. Need one virus. But for, uh, during the infection, we have, um, um, uh, we have uh, thousands, millions of viruses in the host. Okay. okay. The other way is through the recombination. Recombination is production of viruses with hybrid of genetic material. So you can see that the new virus we contain the, uh, from this A and B, uh, A and B genome uh, that they will take certain part of the, uh, of, uh, the, the genome. So and then they will have the by the hybrid of the genetic material. So recombination on the uh, NB on the RBD spike protein alter host range and tissue uh, tropism, which cause jumping species. Eh? If virus jumping from animal to human, so this one we call it as a 
zoonotic virus, which causes zoonotic infection. Eh? Okay, virus origin and evolution. Eh? Okay, the large number and global range of bat, rodents, and bird species allows extensive evolution and dissemination of coronaviruses. Where bats, rodents, and pet, uh, birds are natural animal reservoirs for the coronavirus gene pool. So, not, um, many actually, almost most of the um, human coronaviruses came from either uh, bats or rodents. Okay. And then for the uh, uh, gamma coronaviruses and delta coronaviruses are normally from the birds, right? Okay, coronavirus are found. Coronaviruses are found in bats all of all over the world. Eh? This is from the literature review. Like you can see that uh, uh, SARS-like coronavirus, MERS-like coronavirus, uh, SARS-like coronavirus too. Eh? Uh, uh, found in uh, actually were found in in in, in bats. Yeah, sorry. So you can see from this uh, evolutionary uh, anal uh, analysis of zoonotic coronaviruses, you can see that uh, SARS uh, coronavirus two, the the uh, the closely related bat coronavirus is uh, RATG thirteen, and then uh, also pangolin, eh? pangolin coronavirus, and P789, and then for the SARS coronavirus, uh, this uh, bat coronavirus, uh, VIF-16, uh, eh? okay, and then uh, for the uh, uh, mers cov that, that we can uh, we can uh, find the closely uh, related virus to mers cov in bats. HKU4 and HKU5. Eh? Okay, um, SARS coronavirus to uh, SARS coronavirus uh, first emerged in late 2002 in Guangdong province, China, with a novel severe atypical pneumonia. Eh? First in, in Guangdong province, China, in late 2002. Eh? They spread rapidly to Hong Kong and then other province across China and then to other 29 countries, including Malaysia. Okay, up to August uh, 1st, 2021, it caused uh, 8,096 confirmed cases with 774 deaths. About, the, the, the death rate is about 9.6%. Eh? And then the last outbreak was in 2004, which cause uh, uh, for infection with no mortality in, uh, in Malaysia, there are five cases reported with two, two deaths so far. Eh? So this is the transmission cycle of uh, transmission cycle of SARS coronavirus. You can see here from the bats, and then to the intermediate host, which is actually uh, the common one is CVEC, eh? CVEC cats. And then uh, through the direct contact to the human, eh, uh, through this uh, ACE2 receptor, and then from here be, uh, become the human to human transmission and cause pandemic. Okay, uh, the, uh, the ancestor of SARS coronavirus first it infected leaf nose bats, and and then to the spread to Host, uh, host shoe bats, then to ASEAN palm vets, and finally to human. Okay, you can see in the this uh, phylogenetic tree, right? So the the the, the closely related uh, uh, virus to the SARS coronavirus, eh? Uh, are actually uh, this uh, V sixteen from uh, the bats coronavirus, and then this CVEC, eh? CVEC. Mm, coronavirus and then palm uh, bats coronavirus okay uh, actually bat coronavirus uh, 
V1, uh, W1, V16, they, they, they have the about 96% sequence identity with a horse shoe vest in, uh, from China. And then we uh, showed actually they have same S2 receptor in human, uh, same as uh, SARS coronavirus and uh, CVEX coronavirus for their uh, set entry eh, into the human. Eh? The, so this may be, eh, so this uh, v, uh, W1, V16, uh, maybe the ancestor virus that uh, precedes the evolution of the cor SARS coronavirus in human. So for uh, the mutation, eh, the mutation uh, for for the for the virus from the bats uh, to the civet cats, eh, how they jump the species uh, through the mutation to the to the uh, this uh, amino acid binding of the spike protein, eh, 479, uh, uh, the position of the amino acid at the spike protein 479, which actually they contain this uh, asparagine, eh, uh, or arginine, and then at uh, amino acid uh, 487 contain this uh, threonine, especially on the RBD, eh, receptor binding domain uh, of the CVEC. Uh, isolates have increased the binding affinity to the human S2 receptor. Okay, because due to the 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 this uh, mutation lah, so they will increase, make them uh, apa, recognize the binding uh, on the uh, on the human cell, so that they can uh, they attach to this uh, binding site and then they can enter the host and then cause infection to the human. Okay. A receptor binding motif uh, at 442, eh, you see here, 442, uh, the uh, tyrosine, eh, Y, and then for 472, uh, leucine here, and then uh, this is not so, uh, we haven't have this in here, and then also this at uh, amino acid 487, eh, they contain, uh, change the, the mutation occur here from um uh, threonine eh, from it to, uh, uh, from any amino acid to threonine so this will increase the the, the binding affinity to human s2 receptor so make the virus recognize the the, the receptor on the human host cell so they can uh, infect the infect and cause the disease in human so the the the, the one that critical for the mutation is at 479 okay the, the mutation the critical mutation for for for, for the binding site to is uh, two way eh, of the human is at uh, location 479 amino acid location in the uh, rbd eh. okay the symptom of the virus uh, of the sars eh, uh, uh, okay the incubation period normally two to seven days, but maybe as long as ten days, and then early symptom: fever, headache, muscle pain, dry cough, and shortness of breath. Then after seven to fourteen days, so they will produce a dry, non-productive cough. The virus will produce all this, eh, or deep sneer, eh, and progress to hypoxemia. Okay, and then uh, which can lead to the death. And uh, 10 to 20 percent cases are severe, uh, ca uh, severe respiratory illness, which require uh, ventilatory uh, support and intensive care. Okay, this uh, uh, 3 to 10 percent death uh, due to the progressive respiratory failure. Eh? Okay, treatment or this treatment like antiviral drug, especially barbarian, interferon alpha and then covalescent plasma using uh, infected human immunoglobulin or vaccinated human eh? and then vaccine. So far, no vaccine available for this uh, SARS. Okay, MERS-CoV. MERS-CoV uh, uh, also called as Middle, uh, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus. Uh, 
first case in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia in June 2012, eh, meaning that after 10 years of the, uh, the SARS uh, uh, disease. Eh. Okay, uh, and then outbreaks in 2012, 2015 and 2018. Okay, uh, outbreaks in, uh, in, uh, in Korea, eh, actually in 2015. Which kill uh, with a uh, uh, involved with uh, seventy six. Uh, so, sorry, I I forgot the, the, the number of the the uh, infected people in Korea. Eh? Okay, total cases two four nine zero with a total death of eight hundred fifty eight people. Eh? So this one, the, you, you can see that uh, the the death rate of MERS-CoV. Eh? Most uh, due to the most cough uh, in infection, eh, uh, are higher than in the SARS uh, infection. This is uh, thirty-seven percent, eh, the death, uh, de the death rate, and uh, it is uh, less contagious. So by looking at the number here, less contagious but more deadly. Eh? The virus causes more death in in human. Uh, countries reported cases is uh, tw twenty seven countries. So this is the data, the data, WHO data, and the first uh, uh, August two o two one. Okay, our view of uh, most uh, cases, eh? uh, more than eighty percent of cases have been reported from Saudi Arabia. The mean uh, age is fifty six years, and then six uh, sixty three point five percent uh, are male. Many cases uh, have underlying health condition, eh, such as diabetes or the cancer. Okay, many cases are in healthcare workers. All cases have direct or indirect link to countries in or near the, the Arabian Peninsula. In Malaysia, uh, one one case reported in December two thousand seven through the direct contact with infected camel in Riyadh. But the the, the uh, Alhamdulillah, the patient to uh, recover. Eh. Okay, this is the transmission of MERS uh, coronavirus. So uh, from the bats, originated from the bats to the uh, camel, and then from camel to the human, and then uh, human to human transmission. So that uh, pandemic uh, reported. Okay. Okay, the origin of the virus. Uh, virus appears to have originated in bats because bat coronavirus HKU4 and HKU5 eh, were isolated from uh, bats in Hong Kong, which were closely related to MERS-CoV. And it is uh, thought that the MERS-CoV-like viruses have been present in bats for some time and uh, spread to camels by the mid-1990s. Uh, the viruses have spread from camels to human in the early 2012. Eh? Muscov emerged in human from bats through the intermediate host of camel. Okay, and then Muscov uh, and uh, MERS related or MERS like coronavirus have been isolated from camels and bats, respectively. The MERS-CoV strain isolated from humans and camel are highly similar to each other, and they both use human dipeptidyl peptidase 4 efficiently. Okay, this is uh, the human receptor uh, for the for the this uh, MERS-CoV to to attach and enter the host, eh? the the human host. Okay, uh, best MERS. Uh, Bad MERS related coronavirus HKU4 and HKU5 have been found in different bat species in five continents, mutating uh, three amino acid residues in HKU4, HK, HKU4 RBD eh, uh, receptor binding domain at the position of amino acid uh, 540, 547, uh, and 558 substantially increase its affinity for human DPP4. And then this, uh, the of, uh, of 1AB of these viruses, eh, of this SKU4 and SKU5 bat 
coronaviruses is highly similar to MERS cough. So from here we know that this this MERS cough actually uh, upper, uh, the, the, the MERS cough in human actually the source originated from this bat viruses HKU4 and HKU5. Eh? The symptom or the symptoms the symptom of MERS cough uh, fever uh, cough and uh, runny nose shortness of breath pneumonia uh, chills body age uh, sore throat headache uh, vomiting, nausea, and uh, diarrhea. Eh? So the symptom normally develop within two to fourteen days after exposure to a person infected with MERS cough, and and then you can see here thirty five percent of patient with MERS cough have died. So the mortality rate is very high. So the treatment, no vaccine or specific treatment is currently available. Treatment is both supportive and based on the patient clinical condition. Uh, avoid visiting farm markets, barn or other places where uh, the cameras are present. Should practice general hygiene measures, including regular hand washing before and after touching animals and avoiding contact with sick, sick animal. And then avoid the consumption of raw or uncooked meat and animal products such as unpasteurized milk. People with diabetes, uh, renal failure, uh, chronic lung disease, and immunocompromised persons should avoid contact with chemo or drinking raw uh, chemo milk or chemo urine or uh, eating meat that has not been properly cooked. Okay, so now uh, SARS coronavirus 2, this is the hot, to hot topic now uh, across the COVID 19 infection. So we still live with this uh, SARS coronavirus 2, eh, COVID 19 infection. Okay, uh, SARS coronavirus 2 is the virus that causes coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID 19, spread easily from person to person, and then uh, no, so, uh, no, no immunity in humans, except when you, you have been vaccinated, lah, the human have been vaccinated. So you, we can see that total up to uh, 1st August, eh, yesterday, eh, 2021, so we have almost 2 million cases worldwide okay, with uh, more than 4 million deaths in people, in human. Okay, and then, uh, so you can, we can see here is the, uh, the, the death rate. Eh? It's about, uh, I think, 2%, eh? the death rate of this uh, SARS coronavirus to a COVID-19 infection. And then the cases in 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 Atlanta, in Russia alone, eh, uh, up to uh, 31st uh, July 2021, so about 1.1 million cases. And then this uh, the death this virus uh, cause is uh, more than 9,000 in Malaysia alone. So this virus. The source of uh, of this virus uh, is believed from a seafood market in Wuhan. Eh? So this is the transmission cycle of SARS uh, coronavirus two. So the virus uh, was originated from the bat coronavirus, and then. They uh, transmitted to the, uh, this, the, 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 the virus to the uh, this one pangolin, and then uh, to the, uh, from pangolin, the human uh, contracted this virus, and then after that, they can do the human to human transmissions and then cause the pandemic uh, uh, infection. If pandemic COVID-19 infection worldwide. Okay, uh, the evolution, origin and evolution of the SARS coronavirus 2. Can uh, can I use uh, COVID-19 virus here? Because I, 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 I like uh, I prefer to use uh, COVID-19 virus uh, compared to this this SARS uh, coronavirus 2. Okay. Okay, uh, COVID-19 virus uh, Okay, based on the sequence of virus genome and evolutionary analysis, SARS coronavirus 2 was transmitted from bats via pangolin as an intermediate host to infect human. 
because also, uh, the, the neutralizing antibodies against SARS coronavirus 2 also uh, were detected in bats and pangolins. Uh, and that full genome sequence of SARS coronavirus 2 uh, is 96.2% identical to BATS coronavirus ATG13, which is actively uh, circulating in BATS in Southeast Asia. Okay, because they found this uh, this uh, this uh, RTG RATG uh, like virus, eh? RATG13 like coronaviruses in in bats in Thailand too, in Thailand in Cambodia. Okay, the full sequence of intermediate host pangolin SARS related coronavirus has 91% identity with uh, SARS coronavirus two and has the RBD. Receptor binding domain sequence that can bound to human is too similar to SARS coronavirus 2. So that's why they, 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 they thought that this actually this uh, COVID 19 virus came from uh, bats and pangolin. This, uh, this is being proved by the uh, genome sequencing analysis. Eh? However, RBD receptor binding sequence of bad coronavirus uh, RATG uh, 13 are different than intermediate pangolin SARS like coronavirus and human SARS uh, coronavirus 2, which indicated that RATG 13 virus is unlikely to use the same ACE2 as SARS coronavirus 2 and pangolin SARS. A related coronavirus. So, uh, so actually, the the the, apa, the receptor binding used by uh, this uh, bat coronavirus, uh, RAT, RATG thirteen, is different than the the receptor binding of um, SARS coronavirus two and peng uh, pangolin SARS uh, coronavirus two. Eh? So this one. Um, uh, so, uh, because they are different, so most probably pangolin SARS related coronavirus acquired this ACE2 binding site through the recombination process with other coronavirus. So, this is the phylogenetic <coughs> relationship based on whole genome sequencing of SARS coronavirus 2. And it's related COVs in bats and pangolin. Eh? So you can see this. So this uh, RATG13 uh, uh, bat coronavirus uh, has this uh, sequence identity, 96.1% eh? similar to the SARS coronavirus 2. And then pangolin is 91%. But because pangolin coronavirus 91%, because of the uh, uh, sequence identity and 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 then the uh, what the um, sequence entity and the, the, the receptor binding protein that they use is similar. So, uh, so they assume that this SARS coronavirus 2 or, or COVID 19 virus uh, originated from this uh, BATS uh, RATG 13 uh, BAT coronavirus. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the glutamine, eh, the, the origin and evolution, the mutation uh, for the receptor binding eh, for the SARS coronavirus 2, uh, the, uh, the presence of um, glutamine eh, at amino acid 394, 394 of the uh, RBD spike protein uh, recognized uh, of SARS uh, coronavirus 2 is recognized the critical. Uh, the critical uh, 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 amino, uh, amino acid 31 eh, uh, lysine eh, uh, residue on the human is 2 receptor to enter the host cell. So this is on the uh, SARS coronavirus 2 uh, glutamine or QK94 on the uh, RBD they, uh, that recognize the lysine 31. Eh, on the human ACE2 receptor. 
so that the virus can enter the human cell. And then a single uh, mutation eh, at, uh, from as, uh, asparagine to trionic uh, at the uh, uh, amino acid uh, 501 of the uh, RBD SARS coronavirus 2 spike protein can significantly enhance the binding infinity for human uh, receptor ACE2. Eh? So that uh, the transmission of SARS coronavirus 2 incubation to 14 days, uh, high virus shedding early in disease cause with my symptom, viable for three days on solid. Uh, such as plastic porcelain steel, and then more than 24 hours on the cupboard, on the cupboard, and then uh, depend. But this also dependent uh, on the temperature and humidity. And then SARS coronavirus two bind to ACE two receptor 10 to 20 times more strongly than SARS coronavirus. Okay, the uh, transmission routes through respiratory droplets, hand to mucous membrane contact. Especially the T zone, eh? T zone is eyes, nose, mouth, then uh, through the airborne, and then fecal oral, uh, fecal oral roots. Eh? Okay, this, these are the symptoms of uh, COVID 19. Eh? So, common symptom moderate and severe. So, you can see lah, here the common symptom is like fever, cough, running nose, body is all this, lah, sore throat, headache, fatigue, chills, lo loss of smell and taste, diarrhea, and nausea. Eh? And then for the moderate, uh, so they will have uh, a pneumonia with less sign of severe disease. And then they also have breathing difficulties. And then the severe one is uh, where absent, acute respiratory distress syndrome can, can be observed. Difficulty breathing and shortness of breath, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, septic shock, confu confu confusing or, or, or inability to arouse. Eh? People, so they are actually people at risk. So we have to uh, aware with these people. Eh? We, we have to take care of these people, especially in our family, eh? age more than 60 years old, hypertension, diabetes, coronary heart disease, hepatitis B patient, uh, cerebral vascular disease, uh, COPD, chronic uh, obstruct obstructive uh, pulmonary disease, cancer, children, and pregnant women seem to, to do okay. Diagnosis, uh, okay, based on the travel and uh, exposure history and symptoms, and then uh, real time uh, RT PCR, eh, real time polymerase uh, RT PCR, okay, real time polymerase chain reaction of DNA. So these these are the sample that we have to take, nasal and oropharyngeal swab, sputum, but the common one is nasal and oropharyngeal swab, eh, and then a rapid test kit or RTK, but this is normally RTK not as sensitive as uh, the real-time RT-PCR. Because uh, this, this test, eh, you need to have high concentration of the virus for you to, uh, for the, this test to detect positive. So the treatment, Based on the uh, symptom, yeah, whether mild or moderate symptom or uh, severe or critical symptom, lah. so all this lah, the, the treatment. I think no need for me to elaborate more on this. Okay, so this is uh, managing of epidemics. I think I just want to highlight here for the vaccination. Vaccination is very, very crucial for us to stop the transmission of the, of the COVID-19 infection. Because we hope that we will get more uh, to, to achieve her immunity, eh? her immunity, which is actually more than 90% of our people have immunity against COVID-19 infection. So from here, we can stop the transmission of the virus. I can't see any other way to do to to, to, talk, to, to stop the transmission of COVID-19. Because even the even the uh, in terms of antiviral we don't have a good specific effective antiviral yet actually because uh, the one that we use eh, uh, currently remcdv that one is uh, not really specific to the covid 19 virus okay but but the, the this this uh, antiviral actually giving us the broad spectrum of effect eh? 
Okay. So the prevention, containment, containment, and then mitigation. Eh? So I, I, I think uh, you all know about this. Okay, other fa factors that uh, actually influence the emergence of these zoonotic uh, viruses are environment factors. So we, this environment factors actually allows the frequent interchange of species and then uh, simplified the crossing of species barrier, which made the wildlife carrying the coronaviruses become closer to human. The activities, the human activities that not, that, that disrupt the uh, the wildlife habitat, such as uh, unplanned urbanization, biodiversity loss, uh, exhaustive agriculture practices, uh, in intensive livestock farming, and then deforestation or uh, habitat uh, fragmentation and bush meat trading. Eh? Okay, conclusion and future perspective. Eh? The pandemic of SARS coronavirus, MERS-CoV and SARS coronavirus 2 have told us that human life are in a global village where an infectious disease that can cause severe disease in human can emerge in any corner of the world and has a potential to disseminate globally. Okay, and then if you can see in here, eh, even God, Allah give us a, just a small creatures to us, to test us that we cannot challenge the God, the God cannot challenge Allah because just give us small creatures and then we cannot handle that. Okay? The data focusing on understanding the pathology and epidemiology of humans' coronaviruses, including pathogen transmission, the reservoir and intermediate host and virus, Biology needs to be conducted and gathered for control measures of the disease. Okay, and then to prevent the source of potential zoonotic uh, virus from getting into the human population, the barriers between natural reservoirs and human society must be maintained, must be controlled. Eh? Okay, surveillance and genomic or bioinformatic analysis of animal coronaviruses are important for future prediction of emerging zoonotic coronaviruses. And then we, we should have this in mind, eh? the one health, one world concept where we need to foster collaborative and multi-sectoral effects of transdiscipline to achieve optimal health for people, animals, and environment. So this is one health, one world concept. So the, the, uh, the disease is involved the interaction between uh, environmental uh, host and animal. So we need to have this multidiscipline in our in our research. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Thank you for the attention. Thank, thank you, uh, Prof. Marizan, for very interesting and uh, informative uh, presentation. Uh, we have uh, questions. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, sorry, how to, sorry, I don't know how to uh, stop, eh, stop, is it stop sharing? Stop sharing. Yes. Okay. Okay, we have a couple of questions there in the chat box. I will read it to you. Uh, the first one, what are the differences between SARS, H1N1 and COVID-19? Mm, uh, actually, for the difference between the difference between SARS and uh, SARS uh, coronavirus 2 is actually almost the same, only the transmission of the virus is uh, faster in SARS in COVID-19. Eh? Uh, even the, if you can see that the clinical, uh, clinical symptoms are uh, also almost the same, okay? but, but in terms of the number of people uh, infected to uh, lower in uh, SARS compared to the SARS coronavirus 2. Okay, uh, and then okay. for the, the difference between uh, influenza virus. Influenza virus, normally uh, we can see that uh, the even the, uh, the, the symptom is uh, almost the same, but uh, in terms of uh, the incubation period, eh, incubation period of the uh, H1N1, uh, influenza virus uh, is shorter. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, between two to seven days. 
uh, for the, the virus to develop the disease compared to uh, COVID-19, two, two, two to 14 days. And then uh, this uh, uh, influenza virus, eh, normally they will attack more uh, in children compared uh, to SARS coronavirus, more in the older people, more than 60 years old people. So am I answering the question? Uh, okay, uh, another question uh, from Ayn. Is there a possibility that we could win the war? I mean, uh, this COVID-19 punya war lah. Mm. That's why I think um, we, uh, it's, it's actually very difficult to uh, totally eliminate this virus from this world. Otherwise, eh, if let's say, macam, just much I mentioned just now, we need to get, uh, I mean, uh, uh, about 90% of our people vaccinated, uh, 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 vaccinated with uh, this, uh, the vaccine. Lah. And uh, because uh, we, we, we can see that we can uh, learn from uh, uh, pox, smallpox infection, eh, which is actually smallpox infection already eliminated from this world since uh, 1980s due to a good vaccination, due to the vaccination. And then if you, uh, you, you know that the pox, uh, pox, uh, small pox media costs more, more than 500, uh, um, more than 500 uh, million deaths in human. So we can, uh, I think we can uh, eliminate this, uh, this uh, 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 small pox infection with, by using the vaccine and uh, and we hope that we can uh, uh, do the same for the COVID-19 infection uh, and then I think we better vaccinate uh, we vaccinate ourselves uh, I mean uh, to get this more than 90 percent uh, uh, immunity for for the population uh, uh, until we have the variant strain that cannot be protected with current vaccine anymore. So as, as we know that current vaccine still give protection to uh, to the uh, or the variant strain or variant concern strain. Okay, so far eh, today. Yeah. Okay, so the best strategy is vaccination lah. Hmm, I think that's uh, yeah. in my opinion because uh, because right now eh, we do, we still don't have a good antiviral to 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 uh, to, uh, to treat the, the the virus infection. Otherwise, really. Uh, hmm. Yes, and yes, that yes, relate yes. to the next question by Dr. Rapia mm. uh, regarding the causes uh, for the virus to mutate. Huh? Uh, what causes the virus to mutate into a new strain? And how does this mutation affect the uh, COVID-19 vaccination? I mean, mm. we have uh, different variants now. Mm. Uh, whether the vaccination is a variant specific or it can, you know, mm. basically... Yeah. Uh, all. I think if let's say current vaccine not um not not working towards this uh, variant anymore, we need to produce a, a, a new vaccine lah. Yeah, we need to produce. A, but, but 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 alhamdulillah, so far uh, from my reading, eh, this current vaccine has still give protection to all these variants. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Doctor Rafia, am I answering your question? Dr. Rafia, I know Dr. Rafia because I used from to be from Inform before. Dr. Rafia, hi. Our Dr. Rafia, Dr. Anis. Ah, Dr. Anis say something. Ah, it's okay. All right, and uh, okay, no more question from the chat box, but I do have one uh, question okay. for myself. Uh, okay. Looking at the uh, transmission cycle, I was wondering. Uh, it's, uh, the, the, the cycle start from bats to uh, mammals and then to humans and human to humans. Is it okay. possible that, uh, you know, humans can uh, infect uh, animals such as cats, dogs, and then again, uh, you know, transmit to human again? Probably, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know whether the question makes sense, but uh, is it possible? Uh, so far, no reports on that lah. From because we know that uh, COVID nineteen uh, uh, infection uh, virus viruses uh, were detected in pets, eh? dogs, uh, cats, or this, uh, and then even in the zoo animal. 
macam tiger, lions, or this and then orang hutan. But um, so far no reports lah this uh, transmission from pets to to human. So far no reports. But most probably in future we we are going to have that because if let's say if uh, if the pets can get that from the owners, so most yes. probably yeah. in the future we 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 we, we get that. I mean, logically, the cycle is ah. like, uh, you know, it's possible, tak, but... Tak uh, report lah. Pro Hyrule, tak report. Tak ada report. Lagi pun, report. Uh, lagipun, if let's say, ada report on that, it's going to be have report. Nanti semua dah boleh yeah. kucing. Semua dah tak nak boleh kucing. Because hmm. I remember uh, last year, during uh, early uh, days of this COVID lah, hmm. uh, you know, there were uh, apa ni, writings online lah. Uh, but hmm. not sure how, how valid uh, those... Uh, about uh, you know uh, pets affecting mm. uh, mm. uh, humans mm. but mm. no reports lah no scientific reports uh, on that so far, so far. So far no no scientific uh, report but from the owners to the pets uh, to the animals yes there are a lot of reports yeah. on that yeah. oh mm. okay but from the pets to the uh, humans belum lah belum ada lagi uh, because because now in uh, we have one project eh Uh, working hmm. on that, kita ambil because uh, apa uh, UMK uh, uh, Fakulti Veterina, we, we have uh, clinics yeah, in in Batu, uh, small yeah. small animal clinics. So we try to get uh, many samples from there, and then we tested for the presence of uh, COVID-19 virus in there, and then uh, all, all actually found negative, even the oh. anti even the antibodies. But okay. uh, uh, most probably because Uh, the one that uh, that that was sent to our clinic to not from the positive COVID-19 household I don't know. Uh, okay, it's interesting project. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. I mean uh, that such information may be important lah untuk kita uh, hmm, tapi, you know, understand tapi, understand more. Tapi pro hero problem dia hmm. if let's say uh, if we got positive uh, from our cats, eh, so what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Kalau positif, I don't say that. Nanti kan, ah, uh, tu lah. Semua nak buat uh, check. Nanti kan, aku market uh, food with uh, straight straight cats. Hopefully not lah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, yeah. uh, thank you, Promizan. Uh, very interesting okay. uh, presentations and. Uh, okay. You know. So there is uh, no other questions. So I think that okay. will be uh, the end of our sessions and. Uh, Uh, I pass the uh, session back to uh, Lisa. Thank you again, Promizan. Okay, okay. Thank you, uh, Pro Hiro. Thank you, Associate Professor Dr. Maiza Mohamad and the moderator, okay. Professor Dr. Hiro Anwar. Thank you very much. It was a very informative sharing session on coronaviruses. Dear audience, okay. we kindly request you to fill in the feedback form provided in the chat box. Thank you.